has a question for first person. I guess the 50 percent free throw shooting is you know, obviously a huge issue, but they'll say they I think 62 points in the second half. What, what did they do to sort of turn that around? Yeah, I mean, I think that, um, you know, obviously uh, Levine got, you know, super cooking there in the third. Um, they were they were really spreading the floor on us and, and getting by kind of our first line of defense and getting it getting it deep towards the rim a lot and, you know, just using some, you know, really good athleticism and skill to finish a lot of those, uh, play through the hits and score and get a bunch of and ones as well. But mostly it was just, you know, our first line um, of defense up top, really, Doug, that that started. You know, I think I think we needed to adjust a little bit more. I thought it, it became pretty physical out on the perimeter, um, but we weren't quite, you know, using our arms and bodies enough to keep those guys in front. Yeah. I, I don't free throw shooting is free throw shooting, but what do you think of your guys missing? 50% of yeah, I mean it's 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 uh, if you miss 50% of them when you're five for ten, it's probably not a big deal, right? But I mean that's a lot of misses, right? So you know we left a lot of points on the board there uh, for sure. I don't think that you know you're gonna you're gonna. Um, you know, you're not going to make them all in a game, but I, you know, I've, I've said this to you before. I think if you ever miss over 10 in a game, it's really hard to win, right? But um, we still had our chances. You know, even even with that, we 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 um, still had our chances there. Um, I thought we had one little stretch in the game where we just stopped completing passes. Like we were getting into some double, you know, we were reading the double team so well all night and, and finding uh, people. And we had a couple of set plays that were, you know, really wide open. And we just, we just had about four or five um, really uh, poor executed passing plays that, that there was things open and kind of set up for us to, we, you kind of knew that's what we were going to and didn't make them. So that was, that probably let us down too and let them get out in transition because they did get some transition buckets as well. What was your messaging to your team right now? Right now? Nothing. I just said, listen, that was a tough one. I thought I thought they they played really hard. I think for the most part for the most part, um, uh, we, we did a good job executing uh, the game plan. We probably had more mistakes in our schemes in the first half than we did in the second. It just came down to kind of ISO one-on-one -on -one defense and, and in, the, in the second half. So, I, again, I thought they played, they played tough. Um, I thought, again, for the most part, they, they did a good job of trying to share the basketball and, uh, f you know, make the right plays on offense. Um, yeah, just just a tough one, man. I feel bad for them. I think they tried. I think they tried and played really hard. You talked a, a lot of the last few weeks about the importance of getting some of these guys some more playoff reps. Yeah. How disappointing is it to, to not be able to go further and get those? Yeah, I mean, it's super disappointing. Listen, I think that um, I think that um, you know, there's been been times, especially. You know, even early in the season when we were just kind of hovering over 500, I think we had a really difficult schedule to start. But we were, man, we were a bucket away from a bunch of a big, a big, um, you know, knocking off the the teams that finished at the top, right? Um, and that that kind of, you know, you, know, you always got to pick off a couple of those when you got a chance. And we didn't seem to be able to pick off uh, pick off uh, maybe three or four of them where we're right there at the last possession of the game. All right, I can kind of clearly remember some of those um, so some of that stuff probably catches up to us in the end um, you know having having to play in the play in we, you know few just a few more wins here or there maybe we maybe we can climb up and and get there but you know I've always said this is still there's still a lot of guys that need playoff experience because as you can see it's different Right, it's different. It's it's physical. It's pressure. It's it's a lot of high stakes and stuff. And and you gotta live through some of that to be able to get through some of it, right? So it, it is disappointing. I said that for two years now that we needed playoff games. So it's it's disappointing not to get any for sure. Finding contributions off the bench is obviously a problem all year. Um, what? Uh, how, how much of a struggle was that? Not only tonight, but but throughout the year. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I certainly, you know, we, we were 
in a one game scenario, I think we probably would have imagined, you know, most of our guys playing, you know, 35 to 40, 42, 44 minutes, you know. Um, um, and we tried to, you know, do some do some things tonight to stagger it a little bit, to keep four starters out there, et cetera. Um, but I don't know. I thought Precious played okay in his 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 limited minutes. He had a couple really key offensive rebounds. I thought he had four for the game. So I thought he did okay. And just just a tough. They play pretty small, so it's tough to get you know some of our some of our backup bigs or our wings in that game with them playing so many guards. When you went away from Yak for a few possessions, there was that just a product of the tough passing that you alluded to, the spacing. Um, no, I, we were just trying to get into a situation where we could maybe switch some of those screen and rolls, and you know, we, we tried to get get it so you know that uh, OG, Scotty, and Freddie would be involved in in the actions, and and um, yeah, just just trying to do that, giving us also, you know, it's kind of hoping you know Gary had a couple couple good looks, kind of hoping he he he'd had a bunch of games this year where he'd not do much and make a couple late threes in the fourth. So we're just kind of hoping maybe he'd find one of those, and he actually got a couple chances. Thought he was going to knock one down, didn't work out. What kind of adjustments did you see the Bulls make, if any, in terms of the one five finger roll that Fred and Yak were running a lot early? Maybe yeah. more success early. Uh, did you see any adjustments? Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, they were blitzing, putting two on Fred, even kind of stringing out into a corral, a soft blitz, et cetera. Um, and then they just kind of started. They went small for a while and got into some up-court pressure and went to one through five switching um, and just trying to make us beat them in ISO basketball, right? Um, um, yeah, and then, then they kind of stayed with the switching for probably the last quarter and a half, yeah. Last question, please. Yeah. I mean, how would you sell off the season? It's, uh... You know, kind of some yeah, it was it was tough. Yeah, yeah, it was tough. I think we had some, you know, certainly some some up and up and downs, Michael. I think that um, we, um, you know, we had again. Uh, I thought I thought we kind of came out of the the gates playing pretty well. Then we had to weather some some injuries, et cetera. And it was kind of funny. We kind of did that. And then it seemed that once we got everybody back, the uh, out of rhythm that kind of got us out of rhythm for a long stretch, took a couple tough losses, probably didn't bounce out of that like we normally do. You know, usually we get a loss, we'll bounce back, get the next one. If we get two, we're certainly getting the third one and, and had that, you know, had that stretch of about, I don't know, 12 games, maybe 10 games, 12 games where we just, we just uh, didn't resemble ourselves for a while. So we really had to get back to work. Um, again, I've told the guys several times in the last two weeks, I'm proud of them for getting back, you know, six or seven games above, uh, below 500 and getting back to 500 because we did, we did coach them hard and work them hard to get back to building and rebuilding some of the foundational stuff. Um, but and again, I thought we played well enough to win tonight, but just didn't just didn't go our way. Yep. Okay. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Thank Take care. Yes.